Thanks here. What we've seen is um, uh, local players buying. Uh, not that we've seen two international investors coming into Sweden uh, for logistics properties during uh, during uh, 2012. Uh, I've seen that they have driven the uh, uh, the prices uh, up uh, quite amazingly. In in some some uh, some deals, we felt that we would not touch them on that uh, on that cap rate or or uh, or, uh, or yield. Uh, but it's mostly local players, and we also see clubbing for uh, for getting the finances in order. There has been uh, quite some restraints on on bank lending. So if you don't have a very good rapport with your bank and, and, and a strong position with your bank, several deals have not come through because of lack of financing. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we, just to give you an idea, we, we sold uh, last summer uh, in 2012 a really prime building logistics in Gothenburg Harbor uh, for a Swedish developer, 15-year lease, uh, great location. Uh, we got over 10 bids in. Uh, eight of those were international. Um, only two Swedish. Out of those uh, eight international, two were Norwegians and the rest were out of the Nordics. Uh, only two of the bids were subject to financing. And of course that drives the market and yeah. I think we reached a, a yield level which we haven't seen in quite a few years actually. Um, but that is in prime. Yeah. Whenever something is, is, when you can't tick all the boxes you definitely will most probably have a, have a Swedish or a Norwegian investor. So prime logistics definitely in, uh, international is driving the pricing.